All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. And today, uh, it's been a little while, uh, or should that be a wee while, since I went over to Overtown, and that was a rarely camp uh, introduction. But uh, yeah, not had anything from Overtown for a wee while. And uh, this is a can of the Talisman 6% ABV IPA. So. Uh, a simple IPA with intense aromas and flavours, strong citrus, floral and woody flavours with notes of oak, coconut and pine. So this is an IPA brewed with citra and talus, one of those sort of like hops of the moment for a lot of people. And I uh, picked this up from Northern Beer Temple in Wigan. God, that was the first time I've been to the Northern Beer Temple uh, since, like, before lockdown began. So, yeah, definitely dropped the ball in supporting local uh, over the past 18 months. So I've got a lot of uh, making up to do. But, uh, yeah, picked a few nice beers up, in, including some Cloudwater, because, again, a brewery I've not really drank much of for a good while, even though I'm, you know, brewing some of the best ipas in the country but yeah so as per usual of overtone it's got that sort of like underground rave techno night artwork you'd find fly posted under railway arches and big walls i'm a fucking plank anyway using a this track glass which i've not used for a while you could literally kill someone with this glass. In fact, that's a stupid thing to say because you could kill anyone with a glass if you uh, smashed it and then used them as... We're not going to go any further in that conversation because there might be some dark secrets that might get revealed. You'll never find the bodies, though. Anyway, dirty glass. Shoot me. And doesn't that look... Well, it looks a bit skewed. It looks wonky for some reason, but that's a lovely looking pour there, I do have to say. And it's a beautiful looking beer. Uh, the lighting's a little bit more shocking than usual, but it does sort of uh, resemble what the actual beer looks like. And um, yeah, it's like it's being poured fresh from the tap with that excellent pour. And there's, you know, we won't talk about that space at the top of the rim. Um, but yeah, beautiful looking beer. Half things worth for Whitehead. Let's see what we get on the nose. Oh. Like big lemon curd sort of flavour coming through. Obviously it's a bit hard for me to sort of twirl it round to let those aromas, aromas um, disperse. Yeah, nice and citrusy, a little bit soft. <sighs> Smelling pretty damn bang on. So uh, let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. Oh, my word. Oh, that's that's really good. The mouthfeel on this is just, it's got the mouthfeel of like a, a higher ABV double IPA. Just so creamy and glossy. It's got a beautiful texture to it. It's just so soft. To me, I'm getting a big citra hot presence. Um, I've not had too many beers with Talas, uh, to be fair. Um, when I was in uh, the shop, because I really wanted to try the Arbor Talas beer, because I've had that on good authority, uh, that that's a really good showcase of that hop. Um, and uh, apparently this was, they did fortunately didn't have that because um, apparently Harbour's a little bit harder now to get on the um, 
sort of like the wholesale market because you know like quite a lot of breweries now um who have fully exploited the direct from you know direct sales which is great because breweries um even though there are a lot of breweries who are doing it anyway uh breweries have that sort of like more of an opportunity to get their beer out as soon as it's canned uh, direct to the public but of course one of the sort of things that will come from that is you know a lot of people now are making like a full big order from breweries uh, so that's that sort of like their beer for whatever period of time sorted um, but also it's sort of like taking people kind of away from the bottle shops um, for the most part I'd say not too much because you know um, I'd like to think that there are still a lot of people who are you know making that choice of going local um, which is something that I should have done a much better job of uh, to be fair but also you know what point was I trying to make there I don't know can you get Alzheimer's when you're 32 years old I don't know Don't judge me. Jack's always... We're not going to get into it. But yeah, I got this on recommendation from John at Northern Beer Temple. And uh, I tell you what, this is just a lovely, drinkable, flavoursome IPA. There's a slight floral, like, coconut character on the back end. It sort of reminds me of something like one of the, um, sort of like a, a body butter or a hand cream that you get from a place like Body Shop. And by the way, the Body Shop's grapefruit hand cream is wonderful. And, uh, and their body butter and body yogurt, I should say, um, is one of the main reasons why I'm a 32 year old. He looks like he's still in his early 20s. Um, it's just a shame he's got the uh, the beer gut of a man in his 60s. But we won't dwell on that. Um, not on camera anyway. I'll just have a, I'll have a misery wank a little bit later on. It's fine. Especially now my football bet's not coming in. But hey, yeah, what, yeah, that's what Saturdays are all about, isn't it, really? I'm lonely, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just nice and soft and balanced, but flavoursome at the same time. I don't fully know, hence the name Clueless Drinker, um, what you are supposed to expect from the Talus Hop. I've heard it is a little bit similar or not too far removed from something like Sabro. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I am getting a slight Sabro-like character with this. And I really, really enjoy Sabro. Um, but I'll tell you what, the, the use of Citra in this hop is just wonderful. Um, they must have got a really good crop of Citra because... It's all those characteristics of Citra that I absolutely love, and that's probably the reason why it's one of my all-time favourite hops. But, um, yeah, Overtone just... just Not just knocking it out of the park, but absolutely twatting it out of the park with a steel rod. Mind you, you can get steel baseball bats anyway, can't you? So. Are they, can, see, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, as you can clearly tell, I'm not a sporty person. Um, the only Jim I know is someone called Jim, quite frankly. Yeah, I thought that was actually quite a clever joke. Shut up, Jack. But, um, and I've sp spilt it on the floor now. Fix your nose. But, um... See, I was talking about gyms and I got distracted because I'm doing, I keep doing this bit where I talk to a fucking, it, it, it's
it's not even like a like a print that I've bought. This was actually taken from a copy of Sight and Sound magazine, and I just thought I'd put it in a frame because Chinatown's a really good film, even though it's directed by Roman Polanski. But um Jim's, why was I talking about Jim's? And there was a, a dog that sounded like it was squealing in a bit of pain. It's always good while you're doing a beer review. Um, but whatever I was trying to say, I'm going to completely move away from that and just say that this is an absolutely banging IPA uh, once again from Overtone, <laughs> who very seldom disappoint, especially when it comes to the IPAs and pails and doubles and triples. Um, some of the stouts, when they hit it, they hit it well. Um, oh, that's what, speaking of hitting, I was talking about um, baseball, wasn't I? I don't know American sports. I don't know many British sports. Um, but uh, when, you know, like, proper baseball, I'm not, like, talking, like, minor league baseball. I'm talking, like, major league baseball. Is it called Major League? Or is that Major League Basketball? Or is that just American Minor League, Major League, and then you've got the college and that sort of stuff? Um, did I use steel? Basically, what I was just in a round... Now Marilyn Chambers is giving me the fuck eyes. I can't win. Absolutely can't win. Um, that should have been fuck me eyes. And why would that be a negative thing? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm probably mentally ill, to be honest. But um, yeah, basically, four minutes later, um, do professional like the top tier of baseball? Do they use metal or just wooden bats, or are metal bats just like used by folks who have them hidden under the bed or underneath the pillow? Which, by the way, you've got to have really considerable pillows if you're able to sleep comfortably with either a firearm or a baseball bat underneath your pillow. And if what pillows are you sleeping on, by the way? Because that would just be heaven. But um, Should I just quit doing beer reviews? Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry if the people from Overtone are watching this. Um, but take comfort in the fact that I think you've brewed an absolutely phenomenal beer once again. Uh, this is wonderful. It's just hitting all the right notes. The flavour profile is just absolutely satisfying. Um, it feels a lot bigger in terms of like hop and boldness in flavour, which I think says a hell of a lot. Um, well, finish the point first, than something like a double or a triple IPA. But the hop intensity, an actual flavour and utilisation of those hops, uh, that's what I was trying to say. Um, but I think that's a testament to just how uh, well brewers use whatever crop they can get hold of and um yeah just the right amount of sweetness not cloringly sweet not exceedingly rich like a, an exceedingly good cake fuck off jack and um yeah lovely stuff in fact, wonderful stuff. Um, I'm really, really enjoying this. So, uh, yeah, Overtone, do it once again with the Talisman, 6% ABV, Citra and Talus IPA. Beautiful artwork and uh, beautiful beer. So if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Um, I've got quite a few 
Overtone related beers on the channel now, which I would welcome you to check out because they're a wonderful brewery. I just wish they did more of those like coffee IPAs, uh, which was supposed to be a series, but I've only ever seen one of them because um, I think coffee and IPA is just beautiful. Coffee and beer in general is, you know, always a winner. But alas, I shall end this video here. Go check out Overtone. If you live in the Wigan area or the surrounding areas of Wigan uh, and you find yourself in Wigan or you're passing through Wigan, uh, then definitely uh, go check out the Northern Beer Temple. Uh, you can either do a click and collect order online, uh, but John is still... Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um not compensating oh what's the word i'm sure it begins with c i'm not asking that fucker there um but he's still you know you're still able to actually go to the bottle shop and you know pick your beers there and then but of course um click and collect is preferred accommodating that's the word that i was looking for um yeah. Bye. And see you next time. I don't know why I do it for these fuckers. No, they don't. I could make loads of money off this, but no, they're all tight fisted, aren't they? I'm like, where's all these free beers? Oh, I've turned it off. It's fine. Yeah, all these breweries are like sending out free beers. It's like, what, do I have to be prominent on Instagram to be relevant in this industry? I don't know. Oh, shit.